An analysis of the federal government's national action plan to address violence against indigenous women and girls says little progress has been made this past year to reduce deaths and disappearances. Indigenous rights advocate Gladys Raddick shares some of her concerns regarding the action plan scoreboard, which was released Thursday. Through those 231 calls to justice is the need for health, healing and wellness centers right across the nation. We simply cannot move forward unless we're healing. While progress has been made in the past 12 months in some areas, Raddick says she is wanting to see more action being taken in other areas of concern. We don't have a safe place that we can go, a resource that we can go to where we can, you know, create our plans and and what we want to do and what we know that needs to be done in our community. Raddick has seen some improvements in local initiatives to reduce crimes against Indigenous women and girls. The uh, grassroots movements, we are the ones that have been moving things forward through the Tears to Hope Society, Tears to uh, Tears for Justice. We're the ones that continue to uh, do the events for all the important days. They're all important days for our missing and murdered women. Over the past year, the Native Women's Association of Canada introduced 16 different projects or programs aimed at reducing violence against Indigenous women and girls. Raddick is pleased to see this and only hopes to see more accomplishments in the Northwest. I am going to be working towards getting that health, healing and wellness centre here in Terrace. It may take me a couple of years, but you know what? It's going to happen because our families need somewhere that we can work together and that we can work towards positive change. For CFTK TV News, I'm Hannah Schmidt in Terrace.